Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To replace the starter rope or gain access to the recoil spring and ratchet pawls, release the starter rope and handle from the rope guide and remove the nuts securing the recoil starter to the engine. You can now pull the starter off to replace the components inside. Once the starter is removed, you can lift the engine cover off to access components like the flywheel, the brake assembly, and the ignition coil. To remove the flywheel, first use a clamp to hold the brake bail arm down. Then rotate the flywheel to move the magnets away from the brake assembly. Disconnect the wire from the ignition coil. Remove the bolts securing the brake assembly. And move the assembly out of the way. Remove the spacer from the mounting posts and remove the post and bolt to release the ignition coil. Now use a strap wrench to secure the flywheel as you use a 3 quarter inch socket to loosen the flywheel retaining nut. This may require some effort. Unthread the nut and lift off the flywheel cup. Pull off the fan assembly. Use a flywheel puller and rubber mallet to remove the flywheel. Reinstall the flywheel by aligning the slot with the key in the crankshaft, then slide the flywheel into position. Replace the fan assembly. Realign the flywheel cup and replace the retaining nut to secure. Using the strap wrench to secure the flywheel, torque the nut to manufacturer's specifications. Reposition the ignition coil and rethread the mounting post and bolt to secure the coil loosely. Confirm that the magnets are rotated out of the way, then pull the coil back and tighten the post and bolt. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the post and bolt to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the post and bolt and remove the business card. Slide the spacer onto the mounting posts. Reposition the brake assembly and replace the bolts to secure. Reconnect the wire to the ignition coil and remove the clamp from the brake bail arm. To access the carburetor, rotate the knob to release the air filter cover and pull the cover and filter off. Remove the breather hose from the air filter housing Remove the nuts and bolts securing the housing. Slide the housing off of the mounting bolts to reach the carburetor.
To gain access to the cylinder head and valves, remove the screws to release the auto choke assembly bracket from the carburetor. Detach the choke linkage. Now, while holding the gas line in place, pull the carburetor off of the mounting bolts and slide off the gaskets and spacer. Next, unthread the nuts securing the muffler. Remove the muffler cover, then pull off the muffler and auto choke assembly. Slide off the heat shield. Now tilt the engine back at least 40 degrees and support it. Remove the bolts securing the valve cover. Lift the cover off. Be prepared for some oil to spill. Use a socket or a spark plug wrench to help remove the spark plug. Confirm that the piston is in the up position and that the flywheel magnets are aligned with the ignition coil. You can now loosen and unthread the jam nuts, securing the rocker arms. Remove the rocker arm pivots and pull the arms off. Remove the push rods and uninstall the rocker arm studs. Pull out the guide plate. Next, remove the bolts securing the cylinder head. With the bolts removed, pull off the head to access the valves. Reinstall the cylinder head by first making sure the head gasket sealing area is clean and the dowel pins are in position along with the head gasket. Now fully seat the head on the cylinder block. Rethread the head bolts loosely. Tighten the bolts in an alternating pattern and torque them to manufacturer's specifications. Reposition the guide plate, then thread and torque the rocker arm studs. Reinsert the push rods. Slide on the rocker arms. Then thread the pivots loosely. Use a feeler gauge to gap the rocker arms three to five thousandths of an inch from the valves. Thread the jam nuts and tighten. Replace the spark plug. Be careful not to over tighten the plug. Reposition the valve cover. Thread the cover bolts loosely. Again, tighten the bolts in an alternating pattern and torque them to manufacturer's specifications.
remove the support and return the engine to a level position. Slide the heat shield onto the muffler mounting posts, followed by the muffler with the auto choke assembly attached. Replace the cover and thread the nuts to secure. Slide the gaskets and spacer onto the carburetor mounting bolts. Reposition the carburetor on the bolts and reattach the choke linkage. Align the auto choke bracket on the carburetor and replace the screws to secure. Replace the gasket. Then insert the bolt into the air filter housing, slide on the spacer, and reposition the housing. Thread and tighten the bolt and replace the nuts to secure. Attach the breather tube to the housing. Make sure the air filter is positioned in the cover. Insert the cover tabs into the slots in the housing, then close the cover and rotate the knob to secure. Replace the engine cover. Reinstall the recoil starter by aligning it on the mounting posts, then thread the nuts to secure. Hook the rope and handle onto the rope guide. With the engine fully reassembled, you can now reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the engine runs properly.